Stop your dawdling! Hurry up and get that rock moved! Yep, we return. We're back with more of Dragon Quest V, Hand of the Heavenly Bride. And look at that! We basically have become a Crocodilopus slave. It has been ten years since the events of, well, the death of Pancras. Well, we gotta find out what has happened since then. <laughs> don't slow me down, Mike. I don't want a whipping. I'm the water girl. Can I offer you a drink? Here you are. Just come and find me when you get thirsty then. Yeah, we also have one HP. Come on, get moving! I'll have to smash your face in with this rock if you don't get back to work. There's no response. He doesn't seem to be in the mood to chat. <sighs> yep. Everyone. A lot has happened. Not all of it is good. Oi, stop your slacking! It'll be a whipping for you if you don't move the next rock a bit smartish. I reckon we need to move at least another thousand rocks before they let us rest. Ah, that wretched order of Su Swang. Before they came along, we were just peacefully getting on with our lives. Now we have no freedom whatsoever. They won't even let us carry on worshipping the goddess. It's a clear sign that things are not going well. Yep, it's not. Don't get in my way. She looks like she's really struggling. Be best not to disturb her. There's gonna be a big statue here of the deity that the Order of Suswan worship. That probably means they'll end up destroying the stairs leaning down this there. I reckon they'll do away with us as soon as the whole thing's finished, too. We have to find a way to escape. Oops, I can't keep my voice down. Nuts. Now we gotta find Harry. I see. The leader of this place is saying something about saving the world. That's all well and good, but it doesn't justify destroying an ancient temple and forcing us folk to build a new one in its place. You're right. You slaves are lucky, lucky people. What better way to spend your entire lives than working to build the exalted White King's paradise? Harry! Look out, Abel! We can't loaf around here, otherwise we'll be in for another whipping. Or did you want to talk about yet another escape plan? We've been stuck here for ten years already, after all. I still feel terrible about what happened to your father. I'm sure you took his last words to heart, and you want to set about finding your mother. I envy you. There's nothing left for me out there. My brother will have been made king by now. Still, there's no use feeling sorry for myself. Better get back to work. Well, let's take around the temple, I guess. This is terrible. They made my little sister Maria a slave. I wish there was something I could do, but I can't possibly act against the great ruler. Oh dear, I really shouldn't have said all that to one of the slaves. Doors locked. And this is a grave site where all the slaves who are of no use die. This is where all these slaves end up in their cells. Damn it! Let me out of here! This cult tells nothing but lies! If this is how tough the story is, I'll tell you this. I'm ready for whatever it can bring. Right, that's enough for today. Off to your cells, everyone. It'll be an early morning again tomorrow. Awake at last, are you, Abel? You seem a bit agitated. 
You weren't having another bad dream about being whipped, were you? You bring it on yourself most of the time, you know? We slaves have to keep our heads down if we want an easy life. Who'd have thought I'd ever turn out to be the obedient one, eh? <laughs> Morning, Abel. I hear it's been ten years now since you were brought here as a kid and forced into slavery. Sounds like you had a pretty tough time of it, eh? Poor thing. Have you heard the gossip? Apparently, when the temple is finished, we're all going to be set free. I've never heard such rubbish. You have to be a complete fool to believe that. It's just propaganda that they put about to make us work harder, that's all. But they said it's true. Honestly, there's no helping some people. Did they tell you gullible has been removed from the dictionary, too? Oh, don't worry, we will be. I've always found it a little bit difficult to get along with the Order's philosophies. So it's actually quite a good thing that I angered him and was made into a slave. Now I can see how so many people have been forced into working for the good of the Order. I've also heard talk that the Order of Su Suang is being controlled by some kind of terrifying power. The question is, who's going to stand up and confront it? I have to tell you something. See that girl over there, Maria? She was a follower of the Order, but then they made her into a slave. Something about her going against orders and trying to protect a child's slave or such like. Her brother is a soldier. Would you believe? I can't believe they treat her so harshly. The door is shut fast. Yikes. Sorry, I won't slack off anymore. I promise. Please don't whip me again. It was your father's death that made me change my tune and became more serious and submissive. I can't believe it's been 10 years already. Time flies when you're having fun, eh? Yeah, disgusting. Oh yeah, there's one other person I forgot to speak to. <laughs> it's you. You're the one whose old man was killed by one of the people of the temple, huh? You know, you must never forget the pain you felt that day. It's strong feelings like that that make the difference between life and death here. Get to work, or do you want to feel my whip again? <laughs> That's what it boils down to. More submissive work. Please, please keep the noise down. This is my only chance for a rest. Yep, I gotta talk to them all. They moved them down below, huh? Don't disturb me, mate. I'm the only one minding this bit, so I can't afford to waste any time. I doubt I'll still be alive by the time this temple's finished, but at least they won't be able to whip me when I'm dead. My body and spirit will be free at last. It's already ten... ten minutes and I'm already feeling... feeling it, you know? It's messed up, no matter how you look at it, you know? Oh wait, I already went through that. I'm supposed to head in a different direction. Now what? What a shock. One of the slave girls is being whipped. You stupid girl. How dare you make my shoes dirty? You need some sense beating into you. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Never. You've only just become a slave, haven't you, girl? So maybe it's best that I hammer it home to you what your new life's gonna be like. Uh. Huh? That cretin! Hey, Abel! Where did you appear from all of a sudden? I don't think I can stand to watch this any longer. Yeah! Hey, you want a piece of the action too, do you? Be more than happy to oblige. Slave drivers. Wow, 
Oh, you think that healing you will save you? Not a chance. Yeah, now we begin the next, the second gen, I believe. Yep, they've gotten lazy. Also, make sure to mid heal because these guys get lazy. Yeah, the fight's an easy one. This is some messed up depravity, I swear. And yes, this fight is necessary. Who leveled up? Harry's now level two. Yeah, I didn't think we'd be controlling him. He's now level three. And gets dazzled. Nice. What's going on here? What's all this fuss about? Huh? These two boys just came and attacked me for no reason. And the girl? Uh, yeah, she was making a fuss too, see? Very well. See that she's given medical treatment at once. Sorry. Yes, sir. Right away. And throw these two boys in jail. Yes, sir. Let's go. This is bad news. Still, I suppose it's better than getting a weapon. <laughs> I suppose there's nothing much we can do now. May as well just relax and enjoy the break, eh? Hmm. I wonder how long they're planning to keep us in here. Hey, it sounds like someone's coming. What do you suppose that was all about? Let's go have a look. Thank you so much for coming to my rescue before. Oh, you're... Come this way. I can't thank you enough for helping my little sister Maria. My name's Joshua. I've thought this of you before, but you seem different from the other slaves. Your eyes are alive somehow. And that's why I've chosen you to ask this favor of. Will you hear me out? You see, it's just a rumor, but... Well, there are whispers that all the slaves will have to be killed when the temple is finished to keep what happened here a secret. The thought of that happening to my beloved Maria. So I'm begging you, please take her away from here. When you were brought here all those years ago, your money and belongings were dumped in that barrel. This place, this is where slaves are brought when they die. The barrels are used for floating their bodies away from here. I know it must sound like a horrible idea, but if you float away in one of these barrels, you may just make it out alive. But you have to hurry. Get inside the barrel quick before someone finds us here. What are you thinking? What are you waiting for, Abel? We can't pass up a chance like this! Come on, let's get inside the barrel! Oi! Take me with you, mate! Joshua undoes the chain around the barrel and closing his eyes in prayer that makes it to safely set it free. From a life of slavery to an escape. What the hell? That's a long way down! So we were in another island. But where is it taking us? I don't have the right words. To tell you the truth, I've never played this game before. So this is my first experience with this game. And I assure you, it will probably not be the last.
So, where am I? Ah, what a relief to see you awake at last. You must have been exhausted, child. You've been sound asleep for five days now. I was starting to worry that you'd never wake up. I still can't get over the shock of how you got here, in a barrel of all things. Your companion's been telling me all about it. You escaped from the most awful sounding place, you poor child. This is Heavens Above Abbey, and we sisters here are all nuns of the Order of the Above. Please rest here until you feel well again. We got all our gear back. We're better equipped for the job now. Abel, you're finally awake. And you've changed in everything. Oh yes, you did bring a few things with you. Look at me though. Still every bit the slave. I suppose it doesn't really matter. Much more important is that Maria is going to take part in some kind of baptism ceremony so that she can live here from now on. You're probably not really in the mood having just woken up, but we should go along and watch. We will now call upon the goddess to bestow her blessing on our new friend Maria. We thank the goddess that you found your way here to us at Heavens Above Abbey, dear friend Maria. And we call upon the Almighty One to grant you her blessing on this day. Abbas Abovao pours ruby-colored liquid slowly from a glass and hands it to Maria. With this symbolic drink, we pray that the protection of the goddess now flows within and around you. Henceforth, you will dedicate yourself to your studies such that the beauty of your blessed soul may never be sullied. This concludes our ceremony. Now let us all return to our duties. Maria? Yeah, let's also save our game for the sake of it. Besides, I'm not leaving things to chance, you know? Now where's Maria? Oh, you're finally up and about again. It's such a relief to see you looking well. I haven't really thanked you properly for bringing me to safety like my brother asked. It's so awful to imagine him and all those other poor slaves still stuck there in that wretched place. I feel truly blessed to be here and to be free. The goddess must have had a hand in my good fortune. My brother gave me this, and I want you to have it, Abel. We get a thousand gold coins. I hope it'll come in useful. I have faith that the courage you and Harry have will be like a beacon to guide our troubled world into the light. You're one of the fellows who was washed up here in that barrel and Maria, aren't you? The more I speak with that dear girl, the more I can't fail to be impressed by how sweet she is in her nature. It's almost as if she was born solely for the purpose of serving the goddess. Yep. And there's something we need to get. No, it's in a room, but we can't even reach it. Yeah, she's in a room to the left of the front door. This room. I'd like you to have the statue of the goddess as a good luck charm for your safe onward journey. We receive a crude image. That's a key item. That statue was carved with love and prayers by we nuns of Heavens Above Abbey. It doesn't have any special powers or anything like that, but I hope it will at least make a nice keepsake of your time here. Okay, it's time for us to get moving. 
bookcase in the back of the abbey. Well, let's see if we can find that that book. Nope, not this one. Not that one. Or is it this one? The Maiden of Abut Vital Tower. There once was a girl who climbed the tower where the goddess said to live because she wanted to find out if it really existed. The goddess put many obstacles in the young girl's path, but she courageously persevered until she reached the top. Their legend has it that the goddess rewarded her by bestowing on her a mysterious mirror with the power to reflect the truth. And that's an important item to have. 25 minutes in and it's time for us to finally be on our way. Sorry I came out without saying anything just then, Abel. I knew Maria all the time when we were slaves, and yet I never noticed until today how beautiful she is. I wonder if she's planning on staying here forever. It's not as if we could even stay with her if we were even inclined to. Oh well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do from here. Let me know when you're leaving, won't you? Are you ready to go? It's about time you set off in search of your mother, I suppose. I don't really have anywhere special. Can I tag along with you? Brilliant. That's decided. Let's get going. I'll go and tell everyone we're leaving. You wait here. So you're leaving us? I hear you're embarking on a journey in search of your mother. Perhaps you might be able to find some clues at the large town to the north of here. Take care, my child. Thank you so much for everything. I'm gonna pray here every day for all those poor slaves still in prison at the temple. And I shall also be praying that you manage to find your mother, Abel. Please take care of your travels, on your travels. I'll never forget you. You're a grown man now, Abel. It's up to you to find your own way through the journey of life. But you must never feel alone. Remember that the goddess is watching over you always. I'll be praying for her to guide you on your journey. Time for the off. And now Harry has joined our party. We're going to have a lot of work to do today. Yeah, so basically, Harry is the Prince of Coburg at level 3. He has a bronze knife and surfwear. We're going to get him better armor, better gear, better everything. And now we're basically... Yeah. We're way far from our location. But thankfully for us, there's a town nearby. Enemy are too stunned to move, I see. Good. That does not impress me. And levels up a plenty, believe me. Abel's now level 12. And he gets peep. Very nice. Yep, now we made to the town of Fortuna. And let's see if we can get better weapons. An edge boomerang. I got it. I'll give him the chain whip. An edge boomerang would certainly help us out. And plus, it saves me a bit of money. Plus, having an edge boomerang could actually help us take down all enemies at once. Here, take this whip. Good, that just saved me the trouble. Now let's find the armor shop. And there's a church nearby too, so we'll make sure we save our progress. Welcome! Yeah, let's give the suit of iron armor to Harry. Not much else, just to sell stuff we don't need. Yeah, and let's sell off what we don't need. Yep, 
Yeah, we can also sell off the Iron Claw. Yeah, let's make room for some better armaments. We also have Pancras's gear. Bianca's ribbon. Yeah, that should do it. A slime guniform. Yeah, now we gotta save up for that both of them get iron helmets. So that way they can hold our own in battle. Phew, what a lively place. Just looking at everyone running around makes me dizzy. Me too. Now we'll have to get at least a wagon or something. Yep, let's see if we can grind up a little bit so we can get some experience. At least now, Harry has some better gear. Alright, much better. Now the hero has over 100 HP. We also gotta wait till nighttime. Now let's get the Iron Helmet for, well, Abel. Abel first, then Harry. Oh yeah, now we can actually start looking around and get items. And this one is basic inside a pot. No. Welcome to Rainbow's End Gold Bank, protecting your hard-earned gold from likes of monsters and criminals. Yep, this is basically your bank. Though you're not gonna need to rely on that. Let's head down here. Nice, we get monster munchies. And a pot lid. What's this place? Oh yeah, the curio store, but we can't reach that until the evening. Nothing of interest here. There's another armor shop here. This gives us a TNT ticket. Seed of Resilience. Gotta boost that resilience.
Let's also head right here to the sin. Nice, we get another TNT ticket. Oh yeah, we gotta check out the casino. It's not Dragon Quest without that. And why does that guy up top right here looks like Fred Flintstone? His name is Tilbert. Ah, a silver tiara. Oh yeah, there's also another item here. Silver robe. A T a board game? Is that a per cheesy track or something? Now I'm really curious. I guess there is some use out of this. So basically this right here is a is a is a game show board. Fine, let's give it a shot. I'm game. You get a total of 10 goes after rolling the dice. Only one person can take a part in the game at a time. All right. Four. Yes, examine the ground, we get money. Four. That'd be an item, but on the other side. All right. Interesting. That's an item shop here on the game board. A trap door? And we fail. God damn it. We get 10 rolls. That means I gotta head left. Nice, we get an extra roll of the dice. And a battle. Yeah, but Abel's gonna be the one doing all the work. Roll the dice. Another battle. Oh, nasty. Very good. And I fall. Okay, so I kind of get the idea of how this board game works. But I need more TNT tickets to try my luck. Nice, we get another TNT ticket. 
That takes care of all the items. Now we gotta wait until nightfall. Yeah, because if you've seen the prizes in the casino, it is nuts, with the rarest being the Metal King Sword. And they even brought the Falcon Knife Earrings back from the previous game. The ultimate weapon, the Gringham Whip? Good lord! Alright, now night has fallen. Yep, we got to head up there to get a wagon. What for? Well, Dragon Quest V has a gimmick. Yep, before Dragon DQM the Dark Prince or even the DQM series, this is where you can be able to have monsters. You travelers, partners? Then you'll be needing yourselves a wagon so you can take more folk around. I want to say 3,000 gold for wagon eyes, but I just couldn't receive you a discount. So I just feel like Yeehaw, you got yourself a deal. Put your wagon outside and have yourself a mighty fine trip, partner. Oh, and just before you saddle up, you might want to stop in an old Monty. He's a regular crackerjack when it comes to using wagons. He's the expert if you're looking for advice. Which means we're going to be hunting monsters and getting stronger. And hopefully getting better monsters so that way we can have our party be a bit very versatile. I'm Monty, the famous monster monitor. But I'm sure you've heard of me, hadn't you? Yes. Hmm, there's a twinkle in your eye that I like, mister. A kind twinkle and a sharp one at that. I wouldn't mind betting you could tame monsters and get them to join the party. What? How would you go about that? Let me explain. First, you need to get hold of a wagon. Then you need to fight the monsters, but not without malice. You need to feel the love. When the monsters feel your composition, they'll ask if they can join your party. But they only respect adversaries who are stronger than them, which means you need to defeat them first. Did you follow all that? Good. I bet someone like you could befriend dozens of monsters. Of course, having a wagon will let you take a lot around you, but even then there are limits. And that's where I come in. I can look you after your surplus. Very good. Now comes the fun part about it all. With a wagon in our hands, we can now be able to get monsters to join our cause. And it looks like we gotta level up too. Harry's now level 4. Oh yeah, you have to constantly battle them to get new monsters to join you. I know, it sucks. I'm not affected and neither is Harry. What's this? The brownie gets up and looks over as if he wants to join. Yes! Welcome to the party! And yes, all the monsters basically have their own stats and advantages. And yes, they can equip stuff to their allies. Having a multiple variety of monsters is going to help you out on the journey. Thankfully, it's going to make it much easier than how it is in the Dark Prince. And the slime wants to join us. Can't say no to that. Now we have a party. Abel, Harry, Brownie, and Slime. And yes, they have equipment too. Great. Looks like we lost two monsters of our allies. I gotta wonder if they still gain experience even after. At least it's only 10 coins.
Yeah, the party ain't much, but hopefully we'll be getting better, better allies. I still can't believe we got whacked. My god, it's not pretty. <laughs> Gotta keep on grinding out if I'm gonna have any chance. Alright, let's see who leveled up first. Harry is now level 5. And there's more. Gutrude is now level 2. They actually have names for these guys. Alright, now let's see who else leveled up. Wacka's now level 2. Yeah, it's not just limited to your party, but you also the monsters you have as your allies. Trying to get everyone to level 3. Or rather, higher than that. Not a fan of them. Gutrude's now level 3. And it gets a treasure chest, and we get a Camaro wing. Lovely weather we've been having, don't you think? The grass smells wonderful. Have around 800 gold. Yes, much of the much of the battles I had to cut because, as well, to save time. And plus, hopefully, we'll be fighting against stronger enemies. So far, it's not an easy trial, to say the least, but it is what it is. Alright, let's see who leveled up this time. Nice, Harry's now level 6. He learns Kassap. Much better. And Kassap's useful for lowering defenses. Whereas Abel has access to, I believe, buff, which boosts, boosts a party's defense. It's such a shame that not every monster can be trained, can be trained. But why do I feel like Dragon Quest was the one that does it first, better than everyone else? Oh my god, seriously, Brownie? Who leveled up this time? Wacka's now level 3. I think it's time for us to head up north then. And now we gotta deal with these guys. Blood Gergarigar. Stop picking on my friend, man. Alright, who leveled up? Good. Gutrude's level 4. Yep, the next town, if you're looking from the up screen, is up there. We need to head downwards. Good, now you're cured of poison. Let's move on. If only he had zoom, it would make it so much easier. But I forgot, I got Chimera Wings. And a ticking time berm.
Nice, we did it. Just a bit further and I'll just get him an iron iron helmet. And I think that'll do it. Oh, level up this time. Yep, Harry's now seven. Very good. Okay, let's put that Chimera way to work. Yeah. Let's get a good night's sleep, get the iron armor, yada yada yada. Oh wait, are they available during the dit night? No, they're not. They know better by the fact that we have to get better gear. Let's head up here, for now. Oh wait, what? Oh yeah, now this makes it even harder. You not only gotta micromanage not just your gear, but your party too. Even Wacka can get some better gear. That's nuts. Yep, I'm gonna have to grind. Which is stupid in comparison, but I don't care. I hate having to do this, but this is necessary. I don't need anything else, I'm just gonna sell off what I don't need. I'll sell off this pot lid. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up here for now, because this is gonna have me grind! Yeah, not to mention making my party better. Because I'm not only gonna be a party for Wacka, but also for Gucci too. But yeah, that's how it is. But once we have much of our party members, that might not be necessary. So anyway, that is it for this part of Dragon Quest V. Sorry, but I got to. Not to mention, I did a lot of editing on this, so there's also that. If you enjoyed, please be sure to hit the like button. It means a lot. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click the bell. And I will see you in the next one. When we continue, we'll be heading up to Wheelbrook. And let's just say that we're about to find out some serious trouble going on. So yeah, that's it. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. I got me work to do.